Tales of Abduction by Aliens, Stories and Evidence of Human Abduction by Aliens Tales of being abducted by extraterrestrials have been a topic of controversy and intrigue for decades. While there is no concrete evidence to support the idea that aliens are abducting humans, there are many stories and claims of such encounters. One of the most famous cases of alien abduction is the Betty and Barney Hill incident, which occurred in 1961 in New Hampshire, USA. The Hills were driving home from a vacation when they claimed to have seen a bright light in the sky that followed and eventually stopped their car. They reported being taken aboard a craft by non-human beings and subjected to medical experiments before being returned to their car. Another well-known case is the Travis Walton incident, which occurred in 1975 in Arizona, USA. Walton was working on a logging crew when he and his colleagues reported seeing a UFO. When Walton approached the craft, he claimed to have been hit by a beam of light and taken aboard the craft. He was missing for five days before being found and returned to Earth, claiming to have been subjected to medical experiments by the extraterrestrial beings. There are many other stories and claims of alien abduction, but there is no concrete evidence to support these claims. Skeptics argue that many of these stories can be explained by sleep paralysis, hallucinations, or mental illness. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the idea of alien abduction continues to captivate the public imagination and has been a popular theme in science fiction and popular culture. Whether or not these stories are true, the idea of being taken by extraterrestrial beings remains a fascinating and intriguing topic of discussion. While there is no concrete evidence to support the idea of alien abduction, some researchers and enthusiasts have attempted to gather evidence and investigate these claims. One such researcher is Drive. David Jacobs, a retired professor of history at Temple University and a leading expert on alien abduction. Jacobs has interviewed hundreds of people who claim to have been abducted by extraterrestrial beings and has written several books on the subject. Another researcher is Drive. John E. Mack a Harvard psychiatrist who also studied cases of alien abduction. Mack conducted extensive interviews with abductees and argued that their experiences were genuine and not the result of mental illness or other psychological disorders. Despite the efforts of researchers like Jacobs and Mack, the scientific community remains skeptical of claims of alien abduction. The lack of concrete evidence and the prevalence of alternative explanations make it difficult to take these claims seriously. Regardless of whether or not these stories are true, the idea of alien abduction continues to be a popular topic of discussion and debate. It raises important questions about the nature of extraterrestrial life and our relationship with the universe around us. As our understanding of the universe continues to evolve, it is possible that we may one day discover concrete evidence of extraterrestrial life and, perhaps, even encounters with these beings. In recent years, advancements in technology have allowed for new ways of investigating claims of alien abduction. One such method is hypnosis, which some researchers use to help abductees recover repressed memories of their experiences. However, the use of hypnosis is controversial, as it can lead to false memories and confabulations. It is also not considered a reliable method of obtaining evidence in a scientific investigation. Some researchers have also used physical evidence, 
such as marks or scars on the bodies of alleged abductees.